A jolt of Java can perk you up, can lift a person's spirit, but a presidential campaign? Perhaps no person is more closely identified with Starbucks than Howard Schultz, who seems on the verge of launching a venti-sized challenge. Come on into the Democratic primary, the water's fine. Don't run as an independent. Washington Democratic Party Chair Tina Podlodowski says Schultz has never reached out. I've been chair of the Washington State Democratic Party for two years. I've never heard from Mr. Schultz. Yet the lifelong Democrat is launching a book tour next week that sure looks like the first step of an independent campaign, one that she worries could pour cold milk on 2020's Democratic nominee. Independents tend to be spoilers. She points to Jill Stein in 2016, who siphoned votes from Hillary Clinton, or Ralph Nader, who did the same in 2000 to Al Gore. And Podlodowski says there are issues bigger than a hill of beans. Well, I think there's a variety of concerns to address. Uh, obviously, here in Seattle, there's potentially a sonics issue. Let's put that aside. But I think the biggest issue he's going to need to address are his statements with regard to economic issues and opportunities. He's spoken out in favor of raising the minimum wage, did so to $12 an hour uh, while at Starbucks. But then uh, hours were cut back for different employees. She has offered to sit down with Schultz before his planned book appearance here next week to determine whether the campaign flirtation lasts longer than, say, a cup of coffee. Podlodowski told me Governor Jay Inslee has made it clear that he is in exploratory mode, as evidenced by his trip to New Hampshire today. Washington's Republican Party Chair Caleb Heilich told me today, through a spokesman, that they're dismissing both Inslee and Schultz as candidates, calling Inslee's move a, quote, self-absorbed long-shot campaign, and, quote, forget about Howard Schultz, who literally sold out Washingtonians years ago.